Hello everybody. Um, today I'm, I'm uh, recording with my um, computer um, because my microphone broke. So yeah, it's gonna sound terrible. Um, also, this video is very old. It's a year old. Um, I was too lazy and just uh, it kept corrupting the while editing. So I kind of lost motivation on this video. But I guess today was today. I decided to. Uh, yeah, start the editing uh, this video again for like the third time. Yeah, the third time. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, if so, you know, like the video and you know, share it with your grandma. I don't know. So the compound today we're going to make is a copper complex uh, of copper iodide and um, pyridine. So it's a pyridine copper iodide complex. And why am I making this very random complex? It's because uh, it fluoresces bright yellow, <laughs> yeah, yellow, uh, in a UV light. So I, th I thought it was kind of interesting, a fluorescent copper compound. Um, yeah, let's make it. It it's, does not seem too hard. Um, so yeah. So the first thing I do is uh, get um, nicotinic acid. Um, and add some uh, copper carbonate to it um, as a catalyst because I'm going to be uh, dry distilling it um, to get the uh, pyridine and the copper carbonate is the catalyst in this case as I already mentioned Loads of aluminum for him. Now just wait very, very long. So uh, let's smell, carefully smell if there's uh, already some uh, pyridine forming. It should be very diluted, so I'm not risking my health or anything. Oh god, okay. Yeah, that smells like rotten fish and gasoline Ugh. <coughs> that smells so bad but um bad smell but good sign yay okay um so as you can see there's already quite a lot of pyridine coming over but also a lot of white probably niacin smoke um so that's not good um, I thought like I don't have a heating mantle so let's crank the heat all the way up so it's get hot so it gets hot enough and now it's too hot of course always <sighs> man okay no problem a little annoying but no problem and oh my god it smells awful just turn it down a little bit and that's a little bit too much like that yep. okay with great news Okay, so as you can see, there's not as much fucking steam or whatever vapor, um, but still, there's um, distillate. So it's the perfect temperature, I guess. So yeah, uh, it's really going uh, well. It it is yellow. That's the only like bad thing about it. But yeah, what did you expect from? fish smelling chemistry that it would not turn yellow as you can see it's pretty much dry in there i hope the flask isn't gonna crack i don't think so but yeah so and this is the distillate a little bit of pyridine probably a little bit of water in there but one distillation and it's probably nice and clear so yeah all in all, pretty good. Okay, um, so I stopped the distillation because I was afraid my glass is gonna crack because it's already, yeah, pretty dark. Oh my god, I'm just gonna smell it. Yeah, that all stinks. But uh, yeah, this is the flask. This is what's left. Like some weird, like carbon and whatever the fuck that is. No, it's probably not carbon. It's probably copper oxide. I don't know. Anyway. Um, this smells like shit, but 
but we have this yellow, nice, or I guess not nice, but like it's like 35 milliliters of impure pyridine. And my god, I made the mistake mistake of smelling it, and it, yeah, oh my god, it's like horrible. It's like a very wrong smell. That's how I describe it, like fresh, rotten fish, if that makes any sense. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of like, yeah, like seeing a new color, but smelling a new smell. It's pretty weird. Yeah, so that, amazing. It works. Okay, so um, I'm now uh, distilling the impure pyridine there. It's covered in aluminum foil because it's kind of cold outside. So. And a van, so I don't gas myself. Yeah, it should... Um, one thing, I added about a spoonful, like... Like this spoonful of sodium hydroxide to the uh, impure pyridine to... Uh, convert all the nicotinic acid to its salts. I figured I could I could just uh, leave the salts in there. It shouldn't really distill over because it's a salt. So it has a really, really high boiling point and probably will decompose. So just stop uh, when almost all of the liquid is gone. So you don't decompose all that stuff. It should be fine. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Yeah, now it's just a waiting game as always, and hope, uh, pray to the chemistry gods, it will be all right. Okay, so there's already some pyridine coming over, and it's crystal clear, just like I how I want it. Want it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, my English is fucking bad. Um, the temperature is not even at 100, but it's probably because it's a shit thermometer or something. I don't know, really know why that is, but yeah. But yeah. If you look through the mile of aluminum foil put over it, you can see a, that it's a suspension of white stuff in there. And that's our, the nicotinic acid salts. Um, so just, yeah, like, let them be. I didn't bother filtering them out because they probably won't affect the yield too much. They won't even come over, I think. Hopefully, anyway. But for now, oh, <laughs> um, it looks like I was right because it's crystal clear pyridine. It's a little bit foggy. Wait. Yeah, it looks really nice. Looks like distilled water. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, oh, no, you don't. You can't see. Okay. So as you can see, um, the distillation is almost to an end because it's just a little bit of like the salts in there and of course it's yellow <laughs> but that means all the yellow is there and not here so that's actually a really good sign we fucked off the yellow yeah okay so here's our hopefully very pure it, it looks very pure pyridine yeah it's pretty nice it's a decent amount too so yeah i'm really happy with this Nice. So now making the copper iodide from um, potassium iodide and copper sulfate. Mm. 
Nice. Fuck. So after I've made the copper iodide, um, I prepare a mixture of copper iodide and potassium iodide. Uh, then I prepare a mixture of uh, acetone and the pyridine. And the last thing uh, that's left to do is just to mix those two mixtures together, and that will uh, create the complex as a uh, white flocculent precipitate. Um, so I was really curious. I got my my UV flashlight, and let's let's do it. Oh yes, it worked. Pretty cool stuff. It's just like a slight white powder in your UV. Very nice. 